What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video we're going to talk about what is the best epic weapon for each class. Now this is strictly going over the craftable weapons and much like last week's video where we went over the most useless perks. Uh, I'll give you a few seconds to comment down below but we are going to go over in my opinion at least what are the best epics in each class as long as they're craftable including pistols so do not forget the pistols. And while you're commenting, make sure you guys enjoy the new gameplay. This is actually one of the few times I've been running around the NV4 Fallout. Uh, usually I'm a K-Bar guy, but I decided I'd try the NV4. I have the Suppressor, Extended Mags, and Quick Draw. And on top of that, I'm running with Ghost, Hardline, Gung Ho, and Dead Silent. But to kick it off with number one, jumping right into the Assault Rifles, the best epic you can craft for Assault Rifles is the R3KT. This is by far, this is hands down, the best assault rifle there's nothing better it's just been perfect since the launch of this game so this was actually the first epic I fell in love with I actually used it the whole entire beta and part of the reason why I love it is it turns the burst fire r3k into a full automatic it is a little slower for the fire rate it's still a three shot kill so it's really really good and on top of that I love the secondary perk of stockpile so that is numero uno now hopping into the SMGs uh, no surprise here, but this is the latest and the greatest SMG that is craftable. This is the Bozo Suko, and this is an RPR variant. And what it gives you is below the belt perk, so all you have to do is shoot the guys in the nuts. And what it does, it takes the multiplier from headshots and just adds it to the groin, so you do get that extra bonus for shooting guys in the balls. On top of that, we also do get stability, which is really nice to get that reduced recoil. Again, most of these epics that I'm picking, I'm picking because they have two awesome perks not just like the main perks really good but no both of these perks are really good so the RPR Boso Suko is by far the best the best epic prototype you can craft right now now hopping into the LMGs unfortunately there's not much competition when it comes to the Mauler the Titan and the Raw they really don't have an epic that can match up with either the Sentinel or the Mammoth but when it comes to the epic prototypes for LMGs I'm gonna pick the Mammoth again two very very good perks the first one is you get the heavy hitter and pretty much every bullet that comes out of this gun is doing 60 damage so it's pretty much always a two shot and believe it or not this mammoth has been nerfed I want to say like three or four times I'd have to go back and double check everything but I know they reduce the aim down sights they reduce the movement speed they increase the recoil as well as the view kick and on top of that the LMGs in general they got more of a balancing where the sprint out time was a little too high so everything was balanced out. But again, it's, it's been tampered with about four or five different times. But it still reigns supreme when it comes to epic LMGs. Now getting into the snipers, this was a little difficult. And for me, I'm not a great sniper. So my pick is the EBR Osiris. And once again, it's one of those recently buffed weapons. It's actually the only sniper that doesn't give off that sniper glare. So when you're aiming down the sights, it doesn't look like you're holding a flashlight and you're very noticeable. So I really like it because you can be stealthy. And the fact that there's no sniper glare, you know, people tend to challenge you a little more on those long range battles. And most of the time, they're going to lose because they don't realize you have a sniper. So my pick for epic craftable snipers is the EBR Osiris. Now, again, that's only because I'm a terrible sniper. If, uh, if you're into quick scoping and, you know, you like running and gunning, the KBS Harbinger is probably your best bet. But for the average to below average sniper, the EBR Osiris is always always a good choice and then getting into our final primary we're going to be talking about the shotguns and my choice here is the banshee siren now it was actually very close because i love the dcma epitaph but the banshee siren is more of a pump action it's a little more powerful and again it comes with a great secondary perk of sharpshooter which increases the damage range which again one of my favorite all-time secondary perks on any weapon is having sharpshooter and for those of you that don't know when you slide with this weapon this is what the primary perk does you do get added damage, which is nice. So if you can slide with this, and when I use this, I always, always use the FTL and its power slide because you can just benefit so much from this weapon and that rig combo. So when you're sliding, you get that extra damage, and just in general, you get that extended damage range, which is really nice with the secondary perk. So again, both perks coming in huge to make for an awesome awesome epic shotgun. So those are all the primary weapons, and then don't forget the pistols with my pistols. Uh... This was tough. I'm not a huge pistol guy. I don't use them too often. But I do remember when I was using them with my Is It Epic series, I had the most fun. And I did the best by using the EMC Switchblade, which turns these things into mini shotguns. Now, the best way you use these, you have to do dual wield the Kimbo stuff. 
you can't use this just as a single pistol, otherwise it's complete trash. But once you level it up and get that akimbo, you'll realize this is one of the best pistols out there. Again, if you're just leveling up pistols, this is probably your best bet. I really don't see too many people using pistols here and there. So, overall, this is a really, really good pistol. And that's going to be my favorite craftable epic pistol. But, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I can't wait to see the comments. It's always fun to see what people think are the best craftable epic weapons in the game. And all that good stuff. So, again, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It always helps me out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.